we are Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Rays. Now, is that four, nice? Four All Stars on our team. You got there. four All Stars. Four, four going to the All Star game. Wow, your team's so good. That's why they beat. No, they didn't beat us yesterday. That's weird. So usually I try to start off my baseball vlogs by going to the team store. Gotta say hi to my friend Luke. See if he's here. Yeah. All right, let's go in the store. Come on, Luke. Luke. You see Luke? Huh? Where's Luke? I don't know. Where's where do you, Luke? Luke, where are you? Where do you think Luke is? I don't know. All right, you know what? Since Luke's not here, let me get a prediction from you. What Phillies are going to hit a home run today? What Phillies are going to hit a home yeah, run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke usually predicts the Phillies uh, who hit home runs. It's We're talking about the, the game that's happening right now, the fifth, right? The game that's the happening. The game that's going to end 4-0 Rays. Oh, four, he's doing a full prediction. You're not as good like as Luke. Guy. I know. I don't like this guy. I, I like do. Luke better. Luke, Luke predicts Harper, home run. It's all right. 4 nothing. What, did, what was the final score yesterday? 3-1. to one. We are going to win 9-2. to two. <laughs> We're going to win today, Adam. We are, I know. The Rays are. You're right. Oh, that's right. You're not. I was talking about me and Luke. So let's take a quick look around the Tampa Bay Rays team store. What do you think of our team store, by the way? Just honest opinion. Like, not... Not, not, not yeah, I got you. Um... Bigger or like it's better than the Washington Nationals. It's better than the Baltimore Orioles. Um, no, it's not bad. I mean, it's just full of bad things. Do you guys have any pitchers going to the All Star game? The Phillies? No, I don't. I don't think so. You wear the McLean hat if you want. Oh, um, no, my uh, washer and dryer works, and I'll never need a shirt. And uh, there's no need for that. No, thank you. So uh, All Star game, going to the All Star game. Mm -hmm. Going to the All Star game. Which one of these guys won the World Series? <laughs> Just wondering. I know this guy played in the World Series. Yeah, for you guys. Yeah, yeah, we you lost. Guys, we lost him. because we had him. You guys let him go. Yeah, he's the highest paid player in your team. He makes $64. Yeah. I, I've never seen a John Rocker jersey in a while. You know, I don't think we walked around this way yesterday. We did? Okay. Oh, you want to see our DJ Kitty and uh, Raymond Muro over here? Where you're going to? <laughs> I can't believe you asked that out loud. Of course not. But we will. You know what's fully top donut? Daddy donuts is just being topping. Yeah. You can look at that line, man. I mean, that's like that's a long way for. We daddy. have a gluten-free stand at Citizens Bank Park. But the thing, the thing about that, if you ever want to get a soda or a beer, and you don't want to wait in line, just go to the gluten-free stand. Nobody's ever there. Looks like you could buy a soda and beer here at the donut shop. And not wait in line. A little tick. Oh. Somebody vandalized this wall and graffitied all over it. There's Raymond. They even have the Rays win banner covered. You see he's waving a flag here. I don't know. Right. It's not a good sign for us today. They predict they're predicting the future. I hope not. Or maybe they did that because they lost yesterday? Or maybe they did that because it's just a happy accident. One of the yeah, it's a fantastically happy This is fun. So DJ Kitty's hat is backwards, and look at the MLB logo. It's also a kitty. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, 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 by Phillies fans, oh, very oh, nice, and, and even the Giants fan. That's right. Yeah, Valley. And you guys, wait, you guys got uh, Gabe Kapler still? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah does he yeah, still yeah. rub his body with yeah, olive yeah, oil yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. stuff? He's, he's, he's yeah. a wackadoo. Now listen, my man here, baseball player, minor league, drafted. High school, college. college, can we get drafted? I hope. Yeah, well, an outfielder. Good. So, what's your name? So, I, when I get your rookie card, I can say this guy was in. What? My rookie card? When no, I get your Ty rookie Gilbert. card. Ty Gilbert. Ta All right. I'm going to remember this in the vlog. Right. And then when I get your rookie card, I, guess I had him on my vlog. It's a pleasure meeting you. You're around. You got that letter yeah. right? Let's go. Listen, listen, listen. He's a he's a psychopath now. Yeah, you got to you got to yeah. be careful. But that's a that's a hell of a jersey. So out in the outfield, you look at all these seats, blue, and then you get here, and there's a special seat, and this marks the landing location of Wade Boggs, 3,000th career hit, a two-run home run, back in 1999. Boggs was the first player to have his 3,000th hit to be a home run. Yep. And then that no good Derek Jeter. Creator of the cheese tag. Now it's Ben Franklin, I told you that.
And I don't want to hear about Pat's being the originator of the cheesesteak, because that's not true. It was Mickey D's. It was ben, uh, yeah, Ronald McDonald invented the cheesesteak. <laughs> guys, go <laughs> fill. Now listen, this guy comes up, he goes, hey, yo, how, Adam, how do you put up? With him. Yeah, it's true. And I you're one like of my fans. Don't worry. It's good. Yeah. Of course. I'll see you on the internet. I will see you on the internet. Go Phils. Let's go. Here we are. Oh, wow. Oh, I got a high five. She clapped. Let's go. How are you guys doing? You guys from Philly? Yeah, we're from Philly. We what neighborhood? We're, we're from Morel? Northeast, but now from Okay, Morel is my mom and dad. What really games you guys going to? Just today. Okay. Maybe tomorrow it's a good time. We've seen you here yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It's, this is a what great you state. Fun That's yesterday. What we were oh, I had such Except a great she time. She kept saying she wanted a cheesesteak, and I told her, no, we're not getting no, one. No, don't get the cheesesteak <laughs> here. <laughs> it's, he said it's garbage. It was straight garbage. <laughs> the way they were chopping it with those. Like, they were spraying water on the cheesesteak before like, they put cheese on it. Like, yeah. get, get a hot dog. Don't put ketchup on it. Okay? okay? We All right. Do that. All right, I'll see you guys on the internet. Pokey and tuna bowls. Pokey tuna bowls? Yeah, they have uh, a subi and veggie pokey and nacho pokey. That's seafood, right? Pokey Oh, yeah. 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 I don't. Like I saw sushi. you eat sushi. Yeah. I saw you eat sushi and you're like, oh, I wonder if a Billy Captain would have. I would never touch seafood at a stadium. I used to work at the stadium. No way. I'm just gonna tell Dusty real, so I got a game strategy. Dusty, today's the day, let's steal home! Let's steal home, Dusty! JT! <laughs> Go, no, all right, thanks. <laughs> Love you guys! What's going on? What's going on? Here we are! Here we are! Here Tim. we are! Wonderful St. Petersburg, Florida! We're gonna take over this stadium just like we did yesterday. That's right, we're gonna take over this place. Right. We own this place! Call it Citizens Bank Port! And you know what they say, it's always jive in section 135. Yo, Oscar, what are we doing? He's not here yet. He's not here yet. Zach, Zach Eflin is getting his National League ring. That's nice. At least he has one ring in his collection. He'll never get one ever again. Let's go, Zach! Sorry about what I said yesterday. Oh, they had the flyover noise. That's so cute. You know, I haven't been to any other stadium where they have a sign language or interpreter for the national anthem. Something I don't understand about this stadium is the ceiling is white. And we were behind home plate yesterday, and there were balls going straight up, and I lost them. I don't know how the players. The crowd is cheering because the Phillies just scored a run. Oh, oh! I was feeling a little downhearted, and then I we just was gonna get him third. no bad throw, bad throw, bad throw. two to one. The, the bad guys are winning, and the crowd is cheering because the Phillies just tied it up. We were losing for a little bit, and then they, they forgot. I flew out here to watch them win. They do this thing at the uh, third inning. The kids can line up, or adults, depends on how weird of a person you are. You come and you get your picture taken with the mascot. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's the Rays mascot, so who cares? But it's still cool nonetheless. Do you know, your mascots idolize my mascot, because there's no way you would ever see my mascot holding a stuffed animal of your mascot. You see what he's got in his hand? Got, yeah. yeah. Can you show my Philly Fanatic tattoo? I don't think I really... I got this tattoo on the back of my leg, and uh, I'm a fan of the team. Where's your Raymond tattoo? Got you you got a DJ Kitty? I think about getting a DJ Kitty. I oh, yeah? thought about it, okay. yeah. That is interesting. It's all the Philly Fanatic. Kind of respectful, because the Philly Fanatic is the greatest mascot of all time. It's, I mean, they can't but even... Keep yeah. What? I don't keep saying it. Baseball, uh, it was baseball petition. Let's go, Phils! Look at this. People down there risking their lives touching a stingray. I think that some of the people in the stadium are absolutely the, the nicest people I've ever experienced in a baseball stadium. We're well, from Philly, so we don't have anything to compare it to. Everyone there is. Well, they're, they're all, I can't, I'm talking about New York, Baltimore. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Actually, well, Baltimore people were pretty nice too. Uh, I, I can't compare it to the Philly stadium. They all treat me like friends. You 
feel like people in New York are rude? Um, I thought I thought the people at the Yankee Stadium were kind of yeah. yeah. I can't speak for the game, but I I noticed when I went to New York that it was there were people pretty nice. Yeah. Not well, you nobody hates a Tampa Bay Ray fan. They haven't been around long enough to. to and like your fan projects. base, like like we we have an annoying fan base, and like people are like oh Philly they're, fans they're are really mellow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're the face of the Tampa Bay Ray fans, and you're like a pretty mellow chill yeah. guy. So. Makes sense. What doesn't make sense is the score. The Rays are winning four to three. Yeah, we got another one right there. We had uh, Luke Rayleigh hit a home run over to deep right. Steve's a good guy. Steve's the best boss. Okay. And, and there's a bunch of. And he watches my channel. He watches your channel all the time. Steve, thanks for watching. Yeah. I'm sorry you got to work with people yeah. like this. No. Yeah, but. Well, you work for the Phillies and you're wearing this. Well, I've lived in Florida my whole life. Okay. Man. Well, we all got problems. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we I got two Super Bowls. We just need one World Series. Jay, Are you Chris, ready? Greg. Yes. I want to thank all the boys who sell the beer at the Treasures Bowl Park. Thank you guys. Do they watch too? No, oh, they watch. Okay. Well, oh, thank you very much. You know, I don't know. I don't know how many stadiums you get this close to the scoreboard. This is so much smaller than the Phillies scoreboard. But right now, the Phillies have a smaller score than the Tampa Bay Rays. Four to three. Hey, Turner, off the foul pole. The crowd's going wild. Are we in Philadelphia? The lead! Woohoo! <laughs> Here! Oh, I found you! I was looking for you! You were looking for me? In Philly! You were looking for me in Philly? Can I get a picture? I mean, you're wearing that horrible shirt, but yeah, I'll take a picture with uh, you. No offense, but I'm. No offense? I'm a Philly fan. Oh, what are you doing? You're not... Seem, seems incorrect. Now, here, get a better picture. I'm gonna say something about the stadium I don't like. In between every like other pitch, they play songs. It's just weird the music that they play in between the pitches. Let's let's see. let's see. I don't, I don't like it either, to be honest. I wish there was like a you want you want to like you want to charge. Let's go. Da, 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 you know. They play they play the wrong music in between pitches. Or maybe the Phillies just play perfect music. That's good. That's fine. Let's go, Bills! Nick Castellanos just hit a home run. And when he comes back to take the field, watch the ovation he gets from real fans. Woo, let's go! Bills. <laughs> that was a race. Let's go, Bills. Let's go, Phillies! Let's go, Phillies! Let's go, Phillies! Let's go, Phillies! What's going on, Cal? Move over, over a second. What's going on, Cal Bell Max? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You're doing pretty yeah. good. Let me see right here. Okay. Must, must be pretty awesome watching the Phillies win another baseball game. <laughs> hey, it's been a back and forth game. You got your game. cowbell. Yes, sir. Let's go. Been annoying people for three years strong, baby. Ah! I'm glad you got your cowbell back. That makes me happy. Yes, sir. Make sure everybody, Cowbell Max, he's a good guy. He has a bad baseball team. But um, <laughs> make sure you follow him on Instagram. Much love. Uh, well, a little bit. Not much. Brotherly love. <laughs> Yeah, these are great seats, man. You're like, we're right on the action, baby. Yeah. You know what's cool about here is you can catch all the Phillies home runs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nick Castellanos, he just hit a home run and he's coming back. And I can't wait to welcome my All Star back to this position. The only, only one All Star. Just so you guys know, the game means, yeah, the game means nothing. And uh, who cares? I want, you know what I want? I want my best players to take a few days off. I guess you want them to play in a meaningless game. 
Um, I want them to stay know? warm. They gotta stay hot. They gotta stay warm. No, they gotta stay warm because they're not hot right now. <laughs> Come on, cuz. Whoops! Thank you. <laughs> they're taking you out of here. Huh? They're taking you out of here. She's taking you out of here. My seats! My seats are behind home plate. I will! He's a winner! Let's go! It just keeps getting better. It's eight to four. I got Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker chills. I don't care if I ever get back. Open day for the rest. It all goes off the rails because everyone's on the aisle. That song was called Excuses by Adam DeWoo. We got a thing of loaded potatoes, bacon, peppers. It's a, it's a lot of food. Oh! Is it? Adam, what they're doing is called the wave. I know you've never seen that before because there's never any fans in the stadium. Hey! How much fun's that? What you do is when they stand up, you stand up. You ever, <laughs> they ever I guess they do that here once in a while. Every once in a while. When the Yankees and the Red Sox play here. Woo! The pandemic crew hates the wave. I've noticed there's two kind of baseball fans. Team wave people and team that aren't wave people. Ah, the wave don't I bother. Like it. Yeah. They say it takes away from the game like you're not paying attention to the game, you're paying attention to the wave. And I disagree. Nice. I think I'm the nicest person in the world when it comes to the stadium. I actually enjoy it. They don't have any cup holders anywhere. The uh, Before the game started, we were talking to an usher and she was like, oh, it, it was it's almost a sellout. The same usher that kicked you out of that section. She did kick me out of that very section. Very sweet lady, though. Very sweet lady. I think she's a little big, being a little, a little, little obnoxious. That's offensive. I would never say anything to hurt your feelings. How dare you? You're sitting in your own section. <laughs> I went down and sat in your, like, pandemic group and yelled at them for five minutes, and she kicked me out. We're going into the ninth inning, and all 17 of the Tampa Bay Rays fans, they're leaving, they're going to the car. Adam, you can't leave yet, you gotta stay here. I gotta give you a ride back to the hotel. Oh, we didn't take the car, we're gonna walk. That guy's an object now. <laughs> well, you should. All your other team, all your other fans are leaving. It's so great. The what? What'd you say? Well, check the scoreboard, young buck. I don't care. You talk trash to me. You could be three, seven. I ain't taking it. Two outs. Bottom of the ninth. I, I like this game. Let's go, Phillies! Let's go! Let's go, Phillies! Let's go, Phillies! Let's go, Phillies! Let's go, Phillies! Let's go!
Did you hear that? Did you hear them chanting "Let's go Phillies"? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we own this place. Remember this. Remember this series that you guys took when you guys aren't in the postseason this year. Oh man, I don't. Okay, I'll remember that. And when we make the postseason, I'll make sure I'll post this on the whole oh, social. One hundred percent, do it. <laughs> oh, I would. This is great, man. What a great ballpark. By the way, Dan Pache, just so, just, so, just so you know, the Phillies are undefeated when I wear this jersey at the stadium. <laughs>